Hey everybody, Lamentations chapter 3 today, and remember the prophet Jeremiah uh, writing this book, God's people have been overtaken by the Babylonians, and many taken off into, into captivity, and they're suffering, and um, the children are starving, and it even, it even mentions should, should mothers have to eat their children because things are, they're so hungry and starvation, and, and just so many bad things happening. Many have been killed. And so the, the way the, the book is constructed is it's five chapters, and there's two chapters of just all this darkness and heaviness. And then the last two chapters, again, a lot of darkness and heaviness. But right in the middle, this kind of beam of light, this beam of hope. And so as I'm thinking through, uh, we just sometimes feel so surrounded by darkness, uh, just bad things going on all around. Let's look to the same things that are written here in Lamentations chapter 3. Uh, here's uh, what it says. But this... I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. So what does he, what does he call to mind so that he has hope? Brother, brothers and sisters, what could you call to mind so that you have hope amidst all the darkness? Well, here's what he says. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. Goes through and he just, and he just talks about the Lord's steadfast love and his mercy and his salvation. So what is it that we're to do? Surrounded by darkness, surrounded by just looking at things, maybe even being hopeless. How do you find hope again? You go back and you look at who God is and what he has done. You look to the cross. You look to Jesus. You look to our salvation. You look to God's character. You look to his mercy. You look towards his love. You keep looking to God. And the more we look to God, the things around us will fade away. Have a great day.